Hello everyone, it's Leo and I'm here today with Cure Saleo to talk about episode 9 from Healing Good Pre-Cure, uh, Hinata Cure Sparkle episode. So, yellow girls, yellow curious here together. This episode was a delight. You know, it was a lot of fun. Hinata is a lot of fun. And uh, I've been saying this for a while now, and I think I've said it a lot, uh, which is the fact that Healing Good is focusing a lot on its characters and, um, you know, focusing a lot on their development and uh, on their personalities and everything. You know, we have, we're not, at least so far, we're not seeing much of the story. We're not seeing much of side characters. We're not seeing much of anything else. We're focusing a lot on the three girls and the three mascots. Um, and I've been liking that a lot, actually. You know, it's it's a nice change of pace, and I'm 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 happy that uh, in every season of Precure there's something different. You know, there's something like there is a different touch of uh, in what they're trying to do, and I'm liking the approach that Healing Good is having. So this episode started with Hinata with the TikTok girl. I. <laughs> this is so, you know, you know, having a TikTok account and posting videos with a Nyatoran, it's so, it, it, videos of her dancing, and she was dancing the ending, like, how can you, oh my god, that was so good, and it, it's so Hinata, you know, like, uh, having a TikTok account and posting it and being popular in it, it's totally her, and, like, she posts, she had a video of, an, a very absurd Nyatoran video, and the girls were like, you can't post this. And she was like, I didn't post this one. I was thinking about it. Like, girl, were you even considering? That was so Hinata. And that's one of the things I really like about her. She is so out there. She doesn't really think about it. But at the same time, she is a very sweet person and she's very considerate of her friends. And so she was in um, Noroka's house and she saw Noroka's pictures when she was a child, which were very cute, by the way. And Noroka now doesn't have any pictures, like she doesn't have pic re recent pictures because she was sick and at that time she didn't take any pictures. So Hinata was like, oh my god, this is the time for me to do something. So she picked the girls and they went to the shopping district and they, when they got there, uh, Hinata took them there for them to take pictures and there was being like a big event there uh, with um, a, a special store and that store had like everything for you to take pictures. It had like jewelry, it had nail art, it had costumes and things for you to put in your head, everything. And so the girls started, you know, playing with that. And you know, like one thing I really liked about it is that uh, we were able to see both Nodoka and Chiyu getting totally out of their element. And Hinata, Hinata was in her element like 100%, but the other girls weren't. And it was nice seeing their reactions uh, of both of them uh, while trying to do something. You know, Chiyu was more tame and uh, Nodoka was like trying everything. Uh, Nodoka is tame as well, just like Chiyu, but uh, Chiyu is, uh, Noroka is not afraid to play with those things and Chiyu is more of a, she takes more of like a distanced stance on this kind of thing, but it was nice, you know, uh, and I loved how they played uh, like with the nails, Chiyu with the blue nails, girl, you're a queen, ne people need to do that meme, but it, 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 I think it works here in Brazil, like with the nails, like with the characters like this. And she, you like she need that face. She, I, I'm gonna have to try to do that because it's just I love that meme. You know, with the big nails and the hands like this, and the big big mouth as well. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and so they were trying. You know, they were trying new things and everything. But there were a lot of people. There were a lot of people. And at the same time, the mascots were also playing. You know, that scene of the mascots was nice because uh, we were able to see. A little bit more on like Rabinin's personality. Rabinin is very strict. She's very like she takes things very seriously. And while Peggy Tone was doing it, she was like, "You're doing it wrong. You have to start over." And he was like, "Oh, we don't need to do it like that perfectly." And she said, "Yes, we do." You know, so like it's nice seeing those little scenes just to show a little bit more of their personality. Like we already know them, but it's nice that like we're at the start of feeling good. So we need a, like. Um, we need to be remembered of their personalities because like we need to fix them in our heads and you know scenes like that are nice because of that and so uh, the episode progressed with um, 
the girls getting their dresses. And when we got to that scene, Noruka was uh, like, she felt stressed out because there were so many people around her and she wasn't being able to uh, breathe. I don't know, she got dizzy and the girls took, them, took her out of there. At that scene, uh, Hinata noticed that she was taking the girls along and she didn't really think of the possibilities that could have in Noruka's health. And she was feeling very, very sorry because of that. And this is one aspect of her personality I really like, and it feels fresh as well. She is very apologetic and she, she tries to apologize for everything that goes wrong. And it, lots of things go wrong with her because she doesn't really think things through. But everything she does is with uh, like this pure, innocent uh, will of helping, of you know, doing something fun with someone. And like, I really love that part of her. I really, really love that part of her. And when Noruka was sitting down there, you know, chilling, Rebidin's uh, ears helping her as well. Cute, cute, cute. Um, and then uh, Rate went running and Hinata went after her. And when that happened, Shindo Ine was there. To attack the mall. Uh, Shinoine uh, in this episode, before uh, I talk about the fight itself, I just want to say Shinoine's scene with Guayoru was a little strange to me because of one thing. Shinoine wants to revive King Byogen, like she she's really focused on that and like she respects King Byogen a lot in the state he's in now. And we saw Guayoru and Guayoru doesn't have a care in the world for King Byogen as in the state he is now. And I found that very, very strange. You know, I found that very strange because uh, he was like, um, she was trying to be beautiful for him and he was like, girl, why do you do that? He is a blob of energy. She, he's not looking at you, he's not seeing you. And like, this is a thing that I found interesting in him because usually we see the villains, they're very uh, submissive and they take the Lord's word, the Dark Lord's word, like, to heart. And Guayaru, like, for him, I don't know, like, he doesn't really think that's important at all, you know? He doesn't really care about respecting King Byogen, he's just a blob of energy now. He's just an amount of energy that's there, and that's probably gonna be revived in some point of this series, maybe mid-season, I don't know. Uh, and so, uh, that was, like, an interesting, um, an interesting reaction to what uh, Shindoine was doing. But Shindoine was the villain of this episode and she was awesome. I love her. She's great. You know, Guayaru is still my favorite, but she is great. I just loved her in this episode. And then she, like, uh, one thing I found very interesting was the element that appeared in this episode. I thought that if we were going to have the second bottle for Cure Sparkle, but it wasn't the case. And so Cure Sparkle went there, she jumped, uh, into the fight and she fought by herself for a while and uh, it made sense you know she was feeling guilty for what happened and so she wanted uh, to to be the one to stop the the Byoken to stop the monster and to make the, the other girls you know rest and Noroka was needing to rest and so she felt that she wanted to fight by herself because of that she felt guilty and you know that's that's cute <laughs> that's cute um but you know at the end of the day like uh she transformed nyanturan called her out on that but she said that she wanted to do it by herself and then she did it and the fight was nice again another nicely animated fight it wasn't a big fight it wasn't like oh my god this is the best fight ever no but it was nice nonetheless it was like full of great moments full of great shots and you know overall a great fight but uh, the monster was very hard, she wasn't able to do it by herself, and obviously the other girls arrived. And when they did, you know, it, it like solidifies a lot on their friendship and what they're feeling. And, you know, Healing Good as a team is working very well. You know, they, the trio is very solidified. Each and every single episode, they're trying to work on that, and I think they're succeeding. I think that the way they're writing each of the characters and their connection to the team is very nice. Because, you know, like, for example, Chiyu's episode. They weren't writing Chiyu's episode thinking only about Chiyu. No, they were thinking about Chiyu and her relation to the team at the same time. And in this episode, in this Hinata's episode, again, the same thing. And, you know, the way she feels 
flustered and shy when Noroka praises her. Oh my god, this is so cute! I just love those scenes so much. It was so nice. And you know, when they got together, they were able to find it out. And um, Fontaine used the ice bottle for the first time in this episode. Boring, again, but we weren't expecting any different. At least it worked better than Grace's uh, harvest bottle. It worked better. Better, You know, I think that the fight itself was very nice, as I said, but the, the, the conclusion of the fight wasn't really. Like, they were having such a hard time by hitting that monster, and, you know, just use the ice bottle and freeze it, everything will be fine, we'll be able to defeat it. Like, I thought that they were going to have, like, a different uh, thing, I don't know. And then, you know, at the end of the day, the girls were able to take their pictures before that, uh, Kira Sparkle wanted them to take pictures with the Cure costumes and dude, I mean, was like the only one with the voice of reason like girl don't do that people are already after us Girl come on. I, I like the idea. It's so Hinata. It's so Hinata But you know it would never work out like people already know that Cures exist And if you do that, it's very clear they are going to find out in one point or another and so they were able to take their pictures at the, the end, and it was very cute. Chiu's face, I can't with that. Chiu's face in the picture. And when she saw the picture, her face again, Chiu, I love you. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. And, you know, at the end, Chiu, like, saying to Hinata, like, I know why you made us take this picture. It's because of Nodoka and everything. You wanted Nodoka to have, like, a recent picture and everything. It was so cute and so pure, and Hinata's reaction to that, like being very shy again, it was very, very pure. And at the end, we saw like the, the three of them getting together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful episode. I just can't. You know, Healing Good is really bringing it in terms of cuteness, in terms of softness. I love this feeling. I love it. And you know, being being a great season and being like bringing great characters. Anyways, that was my view on episode 9. Please leave a comment with yours, like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!